Welcome back. You're still watching Game On. I am Favor Itua. We now go straight to the round letter game of football, where, of course, it is a big news for African football. Eight days, 22 hours to the big one in Africa. And guess what? CAF has announced a 40% increase in the prize trophy. Now, the winner of the tournament will now receive an impressive 7 million US dollars, while the runner up will take home 4 million US dollars. The financial rewards for the semi finalists and quarter finalists have also been increased, with each semi finalist receiving 2.5 million US dollars and each quarter finalist receiving 1.3 million US dollars. And that's, of course, a source of motivation uh, to the African teams that would partake in the tournament. Now, to talk about this and, of course, to preview Group E of the Africa Cup of Nations is a seasoned sport journalist. You can also call him a Pan African sport journalist, all the way from Gambia. Fodi Mani joins us this evening. Good evening to you. Welcome to Game On. Evening, Sebo. Um, I'm glad to be uh, here again with you. All right. The tournament is fast approaching. But interestingly, what is making the headlines at the moment, it is the 40% increase uh, given and, uh, you know, said by CAF that would uh, go to the winner of the tournament. I mean, how much of motivation would this be for the countries participating in the tournament? Yeah, I think um, this, is, this, is, this was a good news for every participating team of this year's uh, Africa's biggest football event um, coming again this month. Just we are some days away from it, you know. Um, most interestingly, I should, I should say, you know, the Gambia, we should be going for it again. In our first time of trying, I think we are one of the teams that got this prize. And I think this time again, we will be going for it, yeah? Um, it seems like the Gambia could make it in their first time and winning uh, one of the prizes as stated, you know. I think this time it's going to be a boost motivation for all the participating teams, um, considering the incre increment uh, by 40%, which is massive, and we have to comment CAF for that. You know, um, I think it's going to be a big thing for every participating team to fight. It's going to motivate them. You know, um, looking at the money that is at stake, you know, every team will want to go as far as the quarterfinal, you know. That means if you read the quarterfinal, you have nothing to lose because you are going home with something. You are going back home with something, even if you stop at the quarterfinal. So I think every team now participating in this African Cup of Nations will put a lot of efforts and will be looking at what is placed there. And they'll be like, okay, if we cannot get to the last two, but at least we can get to the last eight. And if we get there, there's something for us. And I think that's going to make the competition even more competitive, that the teams will um, stand their, their ground and also compete as, as we expect, not just to go and, 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 and leave like that, but to compete as, as everyone expects it to be. All right. And aside the financial motivation by CAF, what other developments do you want to see uh, during the tournament and after the tournament? Yeah, I think um, one thing that I, 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 I was disappointed not to see was when I see big, big major television stations that everyone expects to feature the African Cup of Nations, announcing that they will not be able to feature it for TV rights, something like that. That is something that I was so much disappointed about because there are some of these you know, stations that you know many people follow, many people want to watch, many people want to see this African Cup of Nations playing because of some issues. Uh, some some factors I can say um, the commentary for that matter everything you know people consider but you know it's something that we have had and we are not very much pleased about but when it comes to the tournament itself the other thing is that I think CAF can improve on you know VAR is one thing you know we have seen you know the previous tournament we have seen a lot of you know uh, miscommunication when it comes to referees and the VAR and even the referees even Maybe they have a lot of miscommunication among themselves, all of those things. I think they should try to do more capacity building when it comes to those things to ensure that their referees are up to standard. And aside from that too, you know, I think a lot of things can be introduced, like um, the, 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 the goal line technology stuff, you know, the, the VAR, you know, uh, automated, System, all of those things can be can be can be introduced. As far as we we have to we have to go with it now. We are is part of football, so these are things that you know every tournament I think have need to come up with it, you know. But it's unfortunate all the time when African Cup of Nations is coming. The good news that we always hear is the increment of cast prizes or the winner prizes, but we don't hear 
you know, innovative stuff like that, you know, this is something I think, you know, the CAF need to put really much in consideration to make sure that they also put their game at another level. So there are a lot of things that they really can, can, can really um, look into, but I think for now, these are things that they need to come up with in every competition that is coming. At least they, they, they look at things to be very much innovative and say, okay, this time we are coming up with this new team. And another time again, they come up with another team. Maybe in the next uh, okay. four, three, yeah, three, four uh, editions, we'll be able to have a lot of interesting teams in the African Cup of Nations. All right, well said, and we hope to see that happen in the nearest uh, months and nearest years. Now let's go straight to a preview, Group E of the African Cup of Nations. So we have Namibia, we have South Africa, we have Mali, and not also forgetting Tunisia in Group E. That's a big one. I mean, let's look at this group critically. Which teams are favorites to pull out of that group? Hope oh, I can say this group and, and, and the Gambia's group is 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 or oh, are the, the group of death of this of this tournament, you know, having Tunisia, South Africa, Mali, and Namibia in one group, you know, we we are we we, we need to look it look at it critically. Mali is a very strong side, quality players. Top players playing in the top leagues or top clubs of Europe, you know, we all know, we all know the, the quality Mali is having. But again, as I always say, I think Mali's team is always good on paper. But when it comes to, to, to execution exactly on the pitch, it's something that sometimes they, they, they lack, you know. Um, against the Gambia, the African Cup of Nations qualifiers, I said it. I said, if we go out all against Mali, we're going to beat them. And that's what exactly happened in our second time. So I think Mali, you know, with all the quality players, you know, I cannot count them out. But I think, you know, they if they if they you know change the style, they could be shocked, you know. And the team that I'm really looking forward to in this group is South Africa, you know, considering that you know all the selected players, almost ninety percent of the selected players are all African Africa based players. They are all playing in the continent in South Africa for that matter, you know, which is sending us a very big uh, uh, message that is to tell you that these are players that are so much used to african football they they know these grounds they know they, they have been traveling to these grounds and they have been playing in these grounds they know the, the the weather there they know everything and you know they could use this thing as an advantage over 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 the opponents and they they, they can they can really try out and when it comes to tunisia they're not a small team when it comes to african football and they stand out for me them and south africa stand out to be the teams that I'm looking forward to make it out of this group. Namibia too is a strong side and just in their last, one of their last three games, they met with South Africa and I think they beat, they beat South Africa in their last uh, meeting. And now again, if they're meeting in the group stages of African okay. Cup Nation, then be surprised if they are able to do the same thing. But I'm counting on South Africa and Tunisia to make it out of that group. All right, uh, South Africa and Tunisia to make it out of Group E. What about your third, blade, uh, third best uh, team uh, to qualify? Um, my third best team here will go for Mali, you know. Um, I, I, I agree that they have a very quality team, but I think, you know, they're always good on paper. But, you know, yeah, they can still be Mali that we want to see. They can they can pull okay. out something and they can even finish one of these top two or even finish top. All right. Well said. Thank you very much for the money, for your quality time, your analysis in depth, and we wait to see what happens when the tournament goes down on the 13th of January. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much.